Hello everyone. Um, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing okay. Um, it's a bit of a grot grotty, rainy weekend here as we start spring in um, the UK. And I thought I'd just come on and share a few things with you. Um, this is a completely random thing. So last weekend I was really lucky. We went to the Harry Potter Studios um, just north of London. Um, of I really love the books and the films. I really love Harry Potter and I've been wanting to go for ages and we finally got the opportunity. It was a belated birthday present for myself. I also went on my son's birthday. Um, we had a really fantastic time. Um, we saw all these studios. We saw loads and loads of stuff and it was really, really cool. Got the guidebook, which is really fab because it reminds me of all the things we saw and I really love it um and then we had a bit of time in the shop now um i knew obviously that it's uh i wasn't going to get anything particularly tarot related um and actually it was really busy there was loads in the shop i was really overwhelmed i was really tired because i had a migraine but i did pick up this gorgeous little keyring of forks the phoenix because i really like forks and i think he's really cool and i found this really cool notebook quite late on when we were looking around i didn't want anything that was related to the houses i wanted something that was hogwarts or, or harry potter and this was really cool it's this lovely design um it's gold edged so i'm looking forward to using that for something really cool at some point i have a little bit of thing about notebooks it wasn't the cheapest but it was special so that's really cool i also got a jumper um, and it has this design, a hoodie, a black hoodie. I'd been looking for another hoodie and I like having things like jumpers and hoodies for memory because you use them. So, you know, it's not going to go to waste because I've already worn it and it's really cool. It was really expensive, but it was a bit of a treat to myself and it has this really cool design on. So I was really lucky that we went there. There was no kind of, I have got some Harry Potter playing cards. In fact, they're ones that I remember seeing on Spirit of Avalon's channel, Sandra's channel. Um, there wasn't anything else, but I thought the notebook I could use for something fairly cool. Um, and then um, we, we were down in that way. So I'm North England. I'm sort of Northwest, top of Wales. Um, so it's a good three and a half to four hours drive, depending on traffic. But while we were down there, we actually stayed for the weekend and we did spend a day in London. And I was lucky enough to be able to persuade my family when we had an hour or so before we needed to head back to where our hotel was in Windsor by train, that on the way to the tube station, it wasn't much of a diversion to go via at least one of the esoteric bookstores in London. So, um, Treadwells, Watkins and Atlantis are all in fairly reasonable close proximity but not close enough that I could do all of them and it wasn't a day for doing that however I did persuade them that I could go to one and so we popped into Watkins books I kind of wish I hadn't but um um, they had a sale on in February and I thought I might find some really cool stuff but I think a lot of the really really cool stuff are gone and I was a bit overwhelmed because the books were not in any order there were boxes there were loads of people the shop isn't very big and I get really stressed out with that so it was a little bit stressful but I did have a good mooch around I found recently that I've tried to be a lot more careful about purchases so I kept picking up things. I picked up books. There were so many things I picked up and then put back because I realised I almost was only getting them because they were there. Um, but I did bring out two little things. And one of them was um, this Wee Moon 2024 diary. It was only £5, so it was really nice to get it to support the shop. I hadn't got... Um, a spiritual slash esoteric slash astrology diary this year because I didn't think I was going to use it and then I the other week I started looking at them thinking about getting one but I didn't feel it was worth spending the money because the last time I got one I didn't really do much with it or use it but to support a local shop and get this for five pound was really cool it is based in American um t for those in the UK it is based on um, one of the time zones in um, the in the states um, but they do put the conversion in and it has loads of really funky, cool poems, pictures, information. And the last time I got a diary like this, I got the Astrakal one, which I really liked. 
um but this is quite nice because it's a bit different it's it's more it's less about just the astrology um more about kind of natural rhythms for women and stuff and as i say i thought it was really nice that i could get this to support the shop also i went in the second hand tarot section now i picked up two or three tarot decks and put them down because i was very aware that i was i, I have a tendency at the moment to get things just for the sake of it however this was in the second hand section um and i picked this up it is a bit battered and bruised the eyelet tarot I have to say that I didn't have a lot of time. So my family were waiting for me and I was very conscious that, you know, I was spending time in there and they were getting tired. They were cold. I did tell them to get a drink. But anyway, they stayed put. Um, and so I didn't really spend enough time actually looking at this properly. And when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, this is really cool. And it was really, really good value, a really good price. To be honest, I probably should have left it because having now got it home, I realise that I don't think I'm going to work with it. Um, this is an independent deck by a British guy who does some really mad comics and stuff, if you don't know. It's not that old. It was only brought out in 2022. It doesn't come with any sort of index guidebook or anything. I had hoped if I went on his website, there'd be a PDF or perhaps some reference to the cards on, on a social media, but there aren't. Some of the cards have very obvious titles. So, for example, there is a chariot, there's a tower, a hermit. The rest of them have specific kind of maybe keywords, but keywords that I don't get. They are when i first looked at it, it was quite cool but now i just don't think i get anything from it if i try to read it in two so obviously i can see that this one says steam but it's not helpful they he has his kind of style of writing in little phrases again i think for me it's just not it's just not working so it's really cool don't know if anyone's got it if they've got any thoughts about it i think unless someone can come to me with some support in terms of what cards what or how they use it i think it would be i'd either use it as an oracle but to be honest i think i might pass it on i have actually already here how's this for coincidence picked it up had a flick through had another flick through and realized that might have been a mistake got home and about a day later i saw someone request this as an iso on one of the marketplace groups on facebook I didn't respond at the time, but I think I will probably go back and give it to them. But it is really mad, um, the artwork and the, the, the phrases, um, the unswerving, the puppets. Um, I love the, the, the colours, the bit mad. And some of the pictures are really cool. And the, the, what's drawn is absolutely what matches to the keyword. Some of the phrases don't seem to match. So like this one, servitude, but that says so into myself, I'm screaming. Um, when life's bruise goes all the way through, everything changes colour. And that's quite profound. But um, yeah, just not for me. <laughs> so so anyway, it's really cool, but it was a bit of a mistake. Um, to be honest, I have to admit that I think it. I didn't pay very much for this. If I'd have paid more, I would have been annoyed at myself. But I, I didn't pay in a huge amount. What I did do is I was very careful. I picked up a couple of other decks that I put back because I realised that I felt like I was only picking them up to buy because they had a sale sticker on or because they were in the second hand section and they were cheaper than I normal. And I've realised that I'm really bad at doing that sometimes. I've got a couple of decks that I've bought because they were a good price. And also when I was looking around, like I've got um another an oracle deck that i had with me but i've still not looked through properly that i got recently another one that's waiting to be opened and has been sat there for a couple of months and i bought a tarot deck the other week that i did want to get um so it's it's about that kind of sense of i have this real tendency at the moment to get stuff because it makes me feel good but then not actually look at it or use it um which then kind of means that it's not really been worth it. So these cards are really mad, <laughs> completely mad. I love that look, denial. You've got these great big <laughs> glasses and then you've got the, 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 the sight test. But at the same time, there's the phrase does, <laughs> doesn't seem to relate. So anyway, um, there are 
really mad cards as i say i think there is somebody who is after this deck so I, I will probably get in touch with them if they don't want it then i will probably put it on one of the ebay groups on ebay or one of the facebook groups to move it on um because it just yeah the card stock's really bonkers i think it's just like a weird linen -y card and it's obviously independent and it's, it's not a bad deck in terms of size, colour, all those sorts of things. Um, it's just and, and some of the pictures are really cool. I don't like that one, for example. That, to me, is not a hermit. So for me, that, that really shouts a lot. I should have looked at that card more closely in the shop. But because they weren't in order, I, I didn't want to be sitting there going through every single card. But certainly the Hermit card is is my birth card and it's, it's a particular one I'm drawn to and it has to just have the right feel. Generally, Hermit, Strength, I don't like the Strength card. Um, I don't like the Hermit card, doesn't feel like a Hermit card. I don't like the Strength card and they're two of my key, key drivers in a deck. Usually along with Queen of Pentacles, although I, there's the Strength, really don't like that. Although I can't decide which of these is the queen of pentacles so there we go and the hangman isn't even hanging so there we go so yeah so i picked that up in watkins but i think i will move it on but if, if anyone's kind of you know got any comments then do let me know um but yeah so i had a little gander i think i want to go back at some point and just not have the restriction of having family with me who are waiting because you know, I feel bad about that. If I could go on my own, I might look at some point at getting a train down, maybe on one of my days off. We shall see. But yeah, that's a few bits from a quick trip to London last week. Sorry if it's been a bit boring. I just thought I'd share it with you. I am going to record a video about a couple of the decks I've got recently um, and looking at them and seeing what I think of them. Um, so I will try and get that posted at some point. Um, otherwise, take care of yourself for now. Bye.